Good morning. It is the start of a very busy Monday. I'm going to the gym. I usually go to the gym on a Monday morning, but not usually quite this early. It's 20 past eight. I'm planning to get there for half eight. Usually I get there for half nine, which is very, quite luxurious to be honest. I'm very lucky that I can do that. So yeah, I've got to get there and get done because I have loads to do today. And I thought that I could bring you with me. So let's go. So today is leg day. My favorite body part to train, so I look like an egg by the way. <laughs> My favorite body part to train is always upper body, upper body of some sort. I believe it's a good idea to start the week with something that isn't your favorite. But if I did have a really busy week and I didn't get my last session in, it would be upper body that I'd end up missing because that would be the fourth session. My upper body is my strongest part. So I wouldn't want to have a week where I just do three sessions and I don't get my two leg sessions in. So that's the sort of thought process around that. So on today's agenda, when I do get home, there's a few partnerships I'm working on at the moment, which is super exciting. A couple of clothing brands and new nutrition brand that I've worked with pretty much every year and I love um that's Huel. They've just brought out some greens, which is exciting. I've just, I've tried, been trying them the last week and they actually taste really good, which is, uh, if you've ever tried greens from certain, well, I've tried a few different brands and they generally don't taste great, but to be fair, the Huel ones taste really good. So yes, yeah, so I'm working with them, but I don't need to shoot that one yet. I had an ASOS collab that I'm just waiting for them to confirm can go live or see if there's any tweaks I need to make. And the third thing I'm working on, which I do do need to concentrate on today is a brand called Athleta who are launching in the UK this year. So they've picked me to promote their clothes which is really cool and they're so lovely the clothes I've received. I haven't, I've tried on one set but I didn't have a chance to try, try it all on but they're just such beautiful colours and I tried on the one set straight away because I was just like I need to check that the fit is all right and they're perfect so I'm sure everything else will be great. Today I need to film a transition video which I haven't done in ages actually so I'm gonna literally I've got three outfits so I'm gonna do a routine and switch between the outfits so I've got to film that later and also I have a meeting with my developers for the app I've got to be honest this is actually gonna be a really busy month for Fancy Feats so they're working on a really big development so that's exciting and yeah I then have like a big old task list to crack on with after all these things so let's see how I get on today. Gym session done so now I'm going to do my supermarket shop. I really need to stick to my schedule today so I'm going to set a timer and try and do this supermarket shop in like 15 minutes or something. I don't know if that's a bit too ambitious though. Like maybe it's better to do 20 minutes or should I do somewhere in the middle like 23 minutes? No, not 23 minutes. That was really bad maths. I'll do like 17 minutes, 18 minutes. Let me do that. I'm gonna set a timer for 18 minutes. It's gonna be like supermarket sweet. Let me get my bags ready. I'll see you in a sec. I'll let you know how I get on. Okay guys, oh my God, my sprouts. <laughs> that was not as good as it, I hoped. 22 minutes it took me. I did the 18 minute timer and then I had to add on a two minute timer and then I had to repeat that timer. It was just not going well. There's a bit of traffic in Sainsbury's today. Quite a few slow people with their trolleys. But if I hadn't done a timer, I reckon I'd, I'd take like 40 minutes. I find doing a timer, even if you don't get the task done in the time you've set, it still hurries you along. So I highly recommend it. If you shop at Sainsbury's and you use your Nectar card, obviously they know what you buy. At the end of every year, so in January every year, they, they do like a roundup of what you bought in the previous year. And they let you know if like you were in the top 10 or something in your area of buying a particular item. It turns out that in the east of England, no one bought more rosemary than me. What an achievement. When I shared it on stories, everyone was asking why. The thing with me is when I find something I like, like food wise, I just know how to cook it well every time. I just overdo it. And last year I just overdid 
potato wedges. I mean, poor Mr. Jumps is having them as a side with like every meal. So yeah, that's what the rosemary was for. Just did a, made, made a lot of wedges last year. <laughs> right, let's do this. Now I'm gonna, no procrastinating. I need to just get in, unload the shopping and get on with my tasks for the day. I really like these at the moment. They are Lindahl's Park, I presume is how you pronounce it. But they're 81 calories in portion and 15 grams of protein. So a good snack or I like as a dessert at dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna get changed and try on these outfits for later before my meeting at 12. Actually, I'm gonna try and eat lunch before my meeting at 12. I know it's really early, but I only had a very small breakfast this morning, so I'm starving already. Okay, so I'm just about to try on the outfits. I did just put some makeup on and sort my hair. It doesn't really matter what order I shoot these outfits in. I wanna make sure that my favorite outfit out of the three, I'm wearing the most and kind of highlighting the most. That's why I just want to try them on ahead of time so I'll try them on now decide which order I'm gonna wear them in for the transitions and then yeah I've got my meeting and then I will crack on and shoot this video this afternoon okay so this is one of the outfits I'm gonna be wearing So I love all three. I'm actually not sure which one is my favorite to highlight the most. Maybe the pink and lilac, but let's see. Um, I have totally run out of time to eat before my meeting. So I'm going straight into my meeting now and then I will sort my food out afterwards and crack on with this video. <laughs> in what demand was out there, I didn't know. I mean, that banner, I mean, you'd probably just say birthday, birthday sale, now live. Probably people will assume you can click it right now. I think naturally your reaction is to tap something, so you probably don't need to tell people to click, do you? No, that's fine, the combos don't, but it should have text there saying combo locked to have access to this skill, you've got this combo you first have to complete. Well, apparently I'm on Tinder as Laura to using all my pictures and the thing that actually annoys me more is when people use my videos on Instagram, TikTok and then they, they gain a following from it. And with 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 Tinder I'm just like they're kinda not using my work. Do you know what I mean? It's like it doesn't bother me as much weirdly. I'm just like I'm not even gonna bother going down that hole. Just heating up my lunch. I've got leftover chicken with like halloumi, like Hasselback thing <laughs> from the other day and I'm having rice and salad with it. Oh, you know what? It's just it feels so chilly today and I think I've just got a bit of a chill. I'm gonna choreograph this routine now whilst I'm eating lunch. I'm gonna like try and figure it out in my head. I just think that's gonna ease the process because these outfits, I'm not able to wear a top over them. One thing I had already done, which is another part of this whole process was pick music. So because this is a sponsored video that I'm creating, I have to either get a license for the music I use or pick something that's royalty free. And I'm using Epidemic Sound, I've found something on there. Yeah, I just have to make sure I pay my subscription. It's not cheap as well, to be honest, but some brands, when you work with them, they will give you the music. Most, most of them don't, to be fair. And I don't mind that because I would prefer to choose something that I like. But it is annoying that obviously you can't use something that's like popular music. So it does, I feel like it kind of changes the vibe of the routine. Okay, I'm ready. I'm, I've sort of semi-choreographed this. I'm gonna go out, I've wrapped up warm. I'm gonna try it. I've mic'd up so you can hear me. And let's just do it. I am very worried about the wind, not only because how cold it makes it feel 
and how annoying it is with the rope, but also because of my camera, like I'm doing transitions. So I need to make sure I do this routine exactly on each take and in the same position. And I need to make sure the camera doesn't move each time so that I can cut this together and chop and change between the outfits seamlessly. So it's a bit of a challenge, but I haven't done one of these sort of posts in a while. So let's see how I get on. There's also a builder on the roof, two doors down, that's awkward. Right, next outfit, let's go. ditch you guys out there because this camera's battery died and I was just like I haven't got time to care about you sorry but vlog the vlog is less important than the actual video and to be honest so many things went wrong I don't know how that's going to turn out because my mat blew out of the way I don't know if I put my mat back exactly where I, I put it it won't be exactly right which is okay because I can do some tweaks and edit to mask it into a consistent position but if it's really out then it's pretty difficult to crack. My hair, it was raining out there a little bit. Like I, generally I don't care, obviously if it was chucking it down that would be an issue for my hair and I would care. But I was stressing about continuity because my hair was just getting looser and looser. And obviously, so my hair's gonna change. I honestly don't think this is gonna turn out very good. I'm a little bit concerned. And also it took me way longer than I thought it would. And I feel like the lighting changed too much. I really didn't enjoy that. Like obviously a lot of my job I enjoy. I love creating routines. Honestly, if the condition were perfect I'd really embrace doing these sort of videos and stuff but that was just really stressful <laughs> and I broke an owl as well <sighs> right now I look like an absolute mess <laughs> okay I got my post on which is doing really well you know what it's a really obviously you won't really get this probably unless you do social media and share content I just find it so weird how different platforms react to different content at the moment Instagram's just like blowing up all the time. TikTok sort of like, I don't know, it's always a bit up and down. YouTube is weird lately. And I don't know, it's like I upload the same content across everything. And apart from obviously these long form videos, which I only share on YouTube, I'll just never, never understand it. And what is it that's making Instagram so busy at the moment? So I'm looking at this footage now and actually I'm really happy with it. When I was watching it on the camera it just didn't look as good for some reason. So that's good because that was a stress and I genuinely I don't think I'll have another opportunity to film it this week because it is raining every day and it's even windier than it was today. Well it's meant to be even windier than it has been today. Hello my fluffy boy. I'm gonna say hello to the vlog. Say hello. Kingsley. Three non-negotiable things I'll get done today. One of the things was my athleta reel, and one of the things was to vlog the day. So that's two out of three so far, and the last one I'm gonna do with this batch of tasks. So that's a good day, isn't it? What I'll do, because this is kind of boring, I'm just gonna do some admin now, but I'll pick this up again when I'm editing that athlete are real sort of show you that side of things as well i don't know if you find all this interesting but it's not much more effort for me to have you along so obs let me know in the comments if you do enjoy this sort of content okay i'm back and um today i'm doing the story part of this campaign so what i need to do there's two frames in the story. One is video and one is still. I'm gonna just do some shots with each outfit on and just cut between them for the story. And then for the still frame, I'm just gonna pick my favorite outfit and do some stills in that. Oh, I think I need my ring light. Right, I'm gonna go and get my ring light. doing photos can you tell right if you <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> 
Next outfit, coming up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How was that? That was no f***ing good because I wasn't recording properly. <laughs> Again. Yeah, I like that. Look quite pretty. I look quite pretty. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so that's me. Pretty much done well i am done with all the shooting for that campaign which is good what are you gobbing off about you have so much food you get so much attention yeah so the last thing i need to do is edit i pretty much broke the back of real edit yesterday so that's pretty much done i can show you what that's looking like i'm really happy with it actually you know i said i was a bit concerned about the mat moving just generally how like the continuity of my hair i also didn't realize that i must have nudged the camera or it must have blown a little bit because it actually moved for one of the takes but i think i've managed to do it and i think the transitions look really good <laughs> Like some of those transitions were very slick. It's always difficult obviously doing transitions with jump rope because you really have to try and do the routine exactly the same each time. You do get away with a little bit of deviation, but obviously the cuts look best when you're as similar as possible. So yeah, I'm happy with that. All I need to do now is cut my videos together for my stories and choose a photo and sort of make any tweaks I need to to that, just like with colors and lighting and everything. And that is it, I will send it off to the brand. This is meant to be just a like, more of a day in the life of vlog. But I've ended up pretty much just showing you what happens when I work with the brand. And I hope, you enjoyed it. If you want to start jump rope, I have a free quick start guide that's going to give you everything you need to know to get started. That is on the link in the description. If you don't want to miss out on my future videos, make sure you're subscribed. I'm bringing you way more vlogs this year, more educational content, and obviously continuing to share my fun shorts as well. So you don't want to miss out on that. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video. That's a wrap in it.